Okay, welcome back to FTL. Today we will be playing through on easy mode using the Nasazio. This is the stealth ship that you unlock through a quest in the Engie homeworlds, I believe. Uh, this ship has kind of a funny setup in that it comes pre-equipped with cloaking, but no shields whatsoever. Um, so it can be a bit of a challenge, especially early on. But let's give it a shot and see how we do. Standard setup to start with. I'm going to power my weapons bay and my engine room. Uh, it also comes with a pretty well upgraded engine just to up your evasion, which is very helpful uh, unless you can find some shields in a shop, which hopefully we'll be able to do. But let's see how it goes. There's a store right there, but I want to make a few jumps first and get some scrap. Here we come across some pirates. Cloak to dodge that first laser shot. And we will hope that we can disable their weapons before they do much more damage. You see the mini beam is really tiny. It's very difficult to hit more than two or three rooms with it. But with a little bit of careful targeting, we might actually be able to hit four. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, there we go. We hit all four with that. And I'm going to make sure to turn auto fire on. Took a shot there. But we are able to win the fight. We'll make sure to put out this fire, and then we will move on. I've only actually beaten the game with this ship once before, so this is going to be a bit of an experiment. It's not a total blind run, but I don't have a lot of experience with this ship, so we'll just have to see how I do. Explore an asteroid field, we just take some damage, unfortunately. Right. These guys have some nice weapons available, but we don't really have the scrap to buy them yet, so we'll have to keep jumping and hope we get lucky. Intervene to defend the outpost from these rebels. disabled their weapons, so this fight is pretty much in the bag. Alright. And we get a nice reward. Let's check out this other store. Alright, these guys have shields, but as you can see they cost a whopping 150 scrap. I don't think we can actually get that much. Um, well, we'd have to sell a whole bunch of stuff to do it. Uh, that's 50, that's another 15. So that's 65, which would put us close, but not quite there. Uh, let me see where we are as far as staying ahead of the Rebel fleet. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to give it a pass for now and hope that we come across shields again in a later store. No, I don't want to do that trade. I'm jumping around that sector that has an asteroid field in it, because with no shields, asteroid fields are really bad news for us. And this was a trap, and they have an attack drone, which is a bit of a problem. I have to make taking out their shields and drone control a priority if I don't want this drone to just pick me to pieces. Okay, we've disabled their drone, so that's taken care of. And their weapons are down at the moment as well. One more shot ought to take these guys out. 
There we go. That was a little scary, but we made it through. Scenarios. And I'm not going to accept surrender because we've effectively rendered their weapons useless at this point. And I should be able to completely disable them in this shot. Yeah, there we go. Until you get shields, pretty much every fight in the ship feels like it's by the skin of your teeth. Which is exciting, but also rather stressful. I'm gonna attack this ship because I know they don't have shields, so hopefully I'll be able to take down their weapons before they can do damage to me. get a nice reward for that. Another unarmed ship. And we'll be following the same formula with this one. Alright, I think it's time to get out of this sector. Okay, we can buy some fuel for scrap. I am actually going to hold off on this because we're doing okay on fuel and I need all the scrap I can get to hopefully get some shields in the next sector. No stores in immediate sight, so let's check out that distress signal. Giant alien spiders. We will not be helping out with that, unfortunately. Let's dock and try to rescue some survivors from this. Hey, good luck. We got another crew member, which is an Engi. Always welcome. Uh, we don't have shields, so we have nowhere to man him at the moment. But as I said, hopefully we'll get some soon. There's a store right there. I'm going to jump straight there, because if they have shields, I would love to get them sooner rather than later. Yep, there they are. Excellent. Uh, we just became a lot more survivable. Uh, we are going to have to do a little bit of power management so that we can actually run them, but it is worth it in the end. There we go. I have much higher hopes about the viability of this run now. actually a pretty nice little weapon. Um, it's no, you know, halberd and pike beam, but as far as starting weaponry goes, the ship is actually pretty well equipped. Okay, 
here we can sell some missiles for scrap, which I'm going to do because we're not using any right now. guys don't even have shields, so I'm not too worried about just opening up on them. Took a hit there, but should be fairly easy to get under control. We get some scrap and a free drone out of it, so that's nice. Actually, gonna buy some more power right now and upgrade my doors once. This way, I can run all of my systems, and I still have a fair amount of scrap left. Remember to send my Engi over to man the shield room now, and we're good to go. some slavers. Took a hit there. Even with 90% evasion in that cloak, that's somewhat surprising. their offer and get another crew member up. Got another outpost to defend. These guys actually have cloaking, but that's not nearly as much of a problem as shields, so this is okay. disabled, there's really nothing they can do. And we got a very nice reward out of that. So it's time to move on to Sector 3. store right up there that I'll check out after making one more jump. And we come across some Zoltan scientists being held hostage. Looks like they sent in a boarding party as well, but we should be able to handle that. catch their weapons bay with that beam target, which is unfortunate, but hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. Oh, got a fire in my sensor room, so I'm going to 
have to suck some air out to deal with that. You're taking care of the boarding party. And now their weapons are out as well. So this fight is pretty much under control. There we go. And we get a nice reward. And once I know that fire is out, I will re-oxygenate my ship and then send my crew in to make some repairs and then heal up. I think it should be safe to do so. Right, we've got two stores within range. This drastically increases our chance of finding a nice weapon or a good augment. So let's see what they've got. Oh my goodness, they have a glaive beam. That is absolutely excellent. In fact, all of these weapons are really good. Uh, let's see, I definitely want the glaive beam. And I think I'll buy the ion bomb too, because we saw in one of my earlier playthroughs how great they are for taking out enemy shields. We'll sell these Hell Repair Drones, which is another excellent deal because we got another 100 scrap back. Uh, you can see the Nisazio only comes with three weapon slots, but I think we have a very good combination right now. Uh, with that said, I think we'll jump and check out this other store and then maybe make some repairs and upgrade our weapons. Yeah. Buy a little more fuel just to be safe. And it's time to put some points into weaponry. I could just use the glaive beam now as my main weapon, but I think for the time being I'm going to stick with the mini beam and do lasers. Let's run another scan on this research station. Uh, we could either save an Engi or a drone schematic. We're certainly going to save the Engi. Uh, extra crew is always a good thing. You almost always want to take that option until you have a full crew. And here we get a free weapon, an Ion Blast. That's very good news. Once I get a little more power, I may swap out the Mini Beam for the Ion Blast. Here we come across another store. Nothing particularly that I want to buy here. Um, although I may as well buy some missiles and top off my fuel. And we take a little bit of damage, but get some scrap in exchange. I'm okay with that. And here we get another free weapon, a Breach Bomb Mark II. The game is being very generous with the weapon drops in this playthrough. I have no complaints. Let's just strip this ship. We really need the scrap more than we need another fight on our hands. I think I can make one more jump before I have to get to the exit. And it's an empty sink. That's okay. I'm actually going to go up here and answer this distress call. I'm not too worried about facing off the rebel fleet just yet, so... Alright, turns out that was a trap. I was expecting that due to the caution symbol over the jump beacon. So, let's focus on taking these guys out. I'd love to give these guys scrap, but I really need to upgrade my shields again, so 
I'm afraid I'm going to have to do that. And there, we are in excellent shape. Alright, now we just have to hold off until we can jump over, which with our fully powered ship uh, engine is not going to take very long. That's okay. We should be able to jump away before they can fire that big laser again. Oh, except we took a hit to our cockpit. So they'll get one more volley off at us. But then we should be okay to jump away. And we took a few hits there, but that's okay. We are going to move on to the next sector, and I will catch you then. Thanks for watching.